breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. He didn't say he put a soul in that man. He said the man became a living soul. We got man on the set. And when he formed man of the dust of the ground, let's see where he put him at. Go ahead and read. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. So now the Lord then put the man in the garden of Eden. And let's see a command that the Lord gave this man. Because sometimes we need to find out what the Lord told you not to do. Okay. Sometimes we know what he tell you what to do, but sometimes we need to just look and see what did the Lord tell me not to do. That's let's right. drop down to verse 15 and let's find out what he told me not to do. Go ahead and read. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Go ahead. And the Lord God commanded the man. He said, didn't ask the man. Commanded the this man. This is a command. This is law right here. Right. What is law? Things that you have to abide by. Teach. So this is a command. Go ahead and read. Saying, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Because you had a whole lot of fruit trees in the garden. You said, of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. But I'm going to command you this one now. Go ahead and read. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat a bit. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. He said, in the day that you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, yes. you truly going to die. You know one thing what that tell me? Man didn't even know evil. Wow. He didn't know evil right here wow. because right after he told him that, he bore all the beasts by him and Adam named all the beasts. So if Adam, if all the beasts came by him and he named them, right. he knew something, Even a lion. but it wasn't uh, evil. Even the lion, right, brother? Even the lion. Even that lion. Mm. Hey, yeah. but if he didn't know evil. That's right. But now he commanded the man saying, don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Right. Let's see what this man do, because he don't know evil right here. <laughs> let's go to chapter 3, and let's pick it up at verse 1. Let's see what this man do. He in the garden, man. and let him and his wife now. And let's see what's going to happen. Three and one. Go ahead and read. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And I'm going to tell you, if the Lord don't have his hedges around you, right. that serpent is going to be more subtle to you too. Man. Go ahead and read. And he said unto the woman, yeah, has God said you should not eat of every tree of the garden? Evidently, the woman knew that we can't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil here. Let's see how I knew she knew. Go ahead and read. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the tree of the which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Now wait a minute. She gonna quote to the serpent, the who is the devil, what the Lord had told Adam. So that let me know she knew then. That's right, brother. She knew. Wow. But you know what? Go ahead and read. Verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. Boy, that's the same lie they tell every funeral. Come on, Jeremiah. That ain't she ain't dead or he ain't dead in the box. They done made their homecoming. And when I look over there in the box, they look very dead to me. <laughs> Teach, brother. Teach. But go ahead and read. We ain't going to stop. Go ahead and read. Keep reading. <laughs> For God do know that in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Evidently, they didn't know evil. Evidently. And you know this is the sad part. That's the it. sisters eating from the tree. Brad and and the crazy part, Jim, I just want to throw one thing in here. He's speaking for the Lord. He said God does know the same thing the preachers say at the funeral. And Say they speak on behalf of the Lord. The wow. Lord said they have prophesied, and I have not spoken to them. Right? Yes, sir. He's wow. speaking on for the Lord. Yeah. And God does know. How you know what God knows, right? Hey, he was uh, evidently he knew that That's they right. weren't supposed to be communicating with him. That's right. But now, verse 6, read verse 6. Go ahead and read. And when the woman saw that the tree was good <laughs> for food. And then it was pleasant to the eyes. Well, now this this food ain't here. It's food that you eat, you consume in your mouth now, people. This not an apple? This not the apple. Okay. Wow. This is not a fig either. Mm -hmm. I done heard about the figs too. Okay. They, they, you, they, they, they ate from the tree. They had to get some fig leaves to cover themselves. It's not a fig. 
It wasn't right, apple pie? It wasn't no pie. Okay. <laughs> this is information okay, that you that, eat right. here, people. That's right. But go ahead and read. Again, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise. I ain't never seen no fruit to make me wise, but go ahead. She took up the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also to her husband with her, and he did eat. And now both of them that ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, Ooh. not in the evil, it's on the set. They they did not know evil. Let's <laughs> drop down to verse 11 and let's keep going. Because now here come the Lord and the Lord then called him to Adam and said, where are you? Right. And let, let's look at the answer he going to say to the Lord and let's see what, what the Lord going to say to him. Verse 11, go ahead. And he said, who told thee that I was naked? Uh-oh, he, he been naked all the time. <laughs> He was naked all the time and they wasn't ashamed. But when the serpent told him what the body parts was for, now he get a little shame and they sold they sell fig leaves there. But hey, they been naked all the time and wasn't ashamed. Mm. That's right. And he said, the Lord said, who, Adam, who told thee that thou was naked? Not Go what? ahead and read. Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? Didn't I tell you the law that I wanted you to keep that command? Mm -hmm. Not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, because I don't want you to know evil. <laughs> let's drop down to verse 17. We're going to keep going. Verse 17, let's see. He's going to put sentence on Adam now. Go ahead and read. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. Instead of shutting sister, sister down, he hearkened to her voice. Go ahead. And has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. We done messed up the ground. <laughs> hey, the ground is cursed. Because of you. Go ahead and read. In sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Let's jump down to verse 21. Let's keep going. Let's just see what he going to do to Adam. Go ahead. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skin. Go ahead. And clothe them. Go ahead. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us. Hey, wait a minute. He said the man has become as one of us. Let's see how is he one of us there. Go ahead. To know good and evil. Well, the man didn't know evil people. But the Lord said, nah, that you that ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you have become just like one of us now to know good and, and evil. evil. That's right. Go Teacher. ahead and read. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. So all we had to do it, all we had to do is not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, turn around and eat from the tree of life, and we could have learned how to live forever. <laughs> well, we blew that. We blew it. We blew that one. Man blew that one. Because because now you know evil. And where's this evil at? It's right up here in this heart oh, of ours, right. people. Mm -mm -mm. That's where Adam messed us up. Come on, Jeremiah. He messed us up. He done put evil. Not only did he put death on the table, mm -hmm. he put that evil mindset mm -hmm. on the table. So store. sickness and disease and pestilence. All that, all that come from eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Oh, wow. Let's keep going. Let's go into Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter. Wow. Let's go into Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter, because all of us got a little madness in our heart. Yes, do, you know, uh, that thought process of some of us ain't right either. Guilty. 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 Because <laughs> everybody, I don't care who you are, you got a little madness in that heart of yours, yes, people. You do. Ecclesiastes 9, and let's, pay, let's read one verse. Let's get read verse 3. Ecclesiastes 9 and 3. Go ahead and read. This is an evil among all things that I've done under the sun. Go ahead. That there is one event to all. And that one event, if you don't live to the Lord come, that's death. That's, right. that's evil to man. Go ahead and read. Yeah, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil. Oh, okay, Adam did that to me, man. Adam did that to me. Yeah. Not my heart, the heart of man is full of evil now. Right. Go ahead and read. And madness is in their heart uh, while they live. Oh, uh, everybody got a little scream of madness in the mindset. He said now. man. I don't care, you man? Yeah. You man? Yeah. All oh, right, and the sister's man, ain't she? Yes, sir. Everybody got a little madness in that heart while they live. 
Go ahead. And after that, they go to the dead. He said, and after that, they go to the dead. But wait a minute. Let's see, what is the hard dick? Because I know some people, they say, what, what, my heart telling me one thing, well, but my mind is right. telling me something right. else. Right. Well, we need to find out what is the heart and what is the mind then. That's right. Let's go to Luke, the sixth chapter. Let's pick it up in verse 43. And sisters and brothers, while we're turning, you're listening to another explosive episode of The Bomb of Gilead. The Bomb. Bought, our lesson tonight brought to you by our teacher, Brother Jeremiah, the heart of man. Yes, sir. Man. She says, Sister Kendra said, hearts wax cold. Man, uh, Sister Tavia said, keep on, brother. You're keeping it real. Man, keep Teach. it real. Man, y'all sit, man. Send them a, uh, what is it, Mark? Send them emoji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a ticket. That's it. Yeah. We got we to gotta write that on a cue card for Julius to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Luke 6, and let's pick it up in verse uh, uh, 43. This is a parable that the Lord had said, and let's see what he going to say the yeah. hard is. Because I know some people be telling me, I had to argue with a brother on what is the hard. He telling me about that thing pumping in his chest. Yeah. And I'm talking about your mindset, yeah. and we on all different pages. He think I'm crazy, Come and on. I knew he was crazy. <laughs> Come on, Jerry. Come on. Luke 6. And pick it up at 43. Let's find out what the heart is. Go ahead and read. For a good tree bringing not for corrupt fruit. Now let me tell you, if you teaching that truth and you teaching it right, yeah. you cannot bring forth corrupt, corrupt fruit. fruit. Absolutely right. not. Go ahead and read. Neither do a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Uh, that's for all the false prophets. If you're a false oh, prophet, man. you can't bring forth no good fruit. Go ahead and read. For every tree is known by his own fruit. Uh-huh. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather they grapes. Go ahead. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringing forth that which is good. Oh, uh, whatever that heart is, is bringing something good right here. Right. Go ahead and read. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringing forth that which is evil. Uh-oh, you got that evil heart too. You got the good heart yeah. That's right. knowing good. Yeah. And you got the evil heart knowing evil. 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 You got good there. Yeah. And you got evil. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. For of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaking. Wait a minute. What do it have to come to first before it come out your mouth? Got to come to that yeah. mind. Uh-oh. Right. It got to come up to the heart before the mouth speak it, people. So, so when the Lord talk about the heart, what is he talking? That, that mind, that sister mind, brother. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, he ain't talking about this thing pumping and pumping blood around through your vessels and your veins. He ain't talking that. He talking this heart right here. Right. Let's just make sure. So, Jerry, uh, so as a man thinketh, so, so is he. Oh, I understand it. That's so right. is he. Because mm -hmm. it got to come to your heart before your mouth speaketh. Let's make sure that we understand that the Messiah man, said this. Praise the Lord. Let's go to Matthew's, the 15th chapter, people. Let's go to Matthew's 15. Because you got to know what the heart is before you can clean it out. Marty, what, what are they saying, Will? It's a lot of, a lot of things, brother. So you know them by the fruit, by mm -hmm. their fruit. Yeah. That's right. That's their behaviors. Where we going, Jerry? Matthew's 15. Yes. And let's pick it up at verse 16 because the Lord is speaking a parable here about people washing with unwashing hands. And see, people try to go here and throw the dietary law away. Right. But let's see what the Lord is actually saying here, Brother Julius. 15 and 16. Go ahead and read. And Jesus said, are you also yet without understanding? Uh, do you understand what the heart is? Are you without understanding? Go ahead and read. Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever enter in at the mouth go into the belly yeah. and is cast out into the drop? Whatever you eat, people, it goes into <coughs> the mouth, it's cast into the drop. Yes. They ain't going to die to every law. Absolutely lady. not. Go ahead and read. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But he said those things that proceeded out of the mouth come from where? From the heart. I bet that pumping is thinking for you, ain't it? Ain't that blood pump thinking for you, ain't it? Uh, uh, no. No. Oh, no. this this heart here. That's there. Right. there you go. Go ahead and read. And they defile the man. Go ahead and read. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. Wait a minute. He say out of the heart proceedeth evil thoughts, people. And we all got this. 
Adam gave it to us. That's right. Go ahead and read. Let's, Murders. Let's see. Uh, that's in the heart. Murders. Go ahead. Adultery. That's, that's in the heart, people. Go ahead. Fornication. Uh, you mean when I do fornication, they got to come to my heart before I do it? You got to think right. before you do it. Go ahead. Thefts. Uh-oh. False witness. Yes. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Uh, go ahead. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashing hands defiles yeah. not a man. That's, That's right. what the parable was talking about. That's eat right. with unwashing hands. But he told you those things that come from the mad mouth proceeded out of the heart. People. That's right. And that's what's defiled the man. That's what's going to defile you. Jeremiah, right. why am I not hearing these in the churches? Why not? It's in the book. Because they don't want you to clean up that dirty mind of yours, people. And all our minds is dirty. I can't sit here and tell you my mind ain't dirty. Yeah, I have evil thoughts come out my heart. The Lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man. That's right. what he told you in Genesis. And we're going to read that. Okay. We gonna read that, but let's go to let's go to Romans the sixth chapter, Romans eight. Let's go to Romans the eighth chapter. Sister, let's go to Romans eight. Sisters and brothers, like, share, post, go back and rewatch this. I promise you, I promise you, you're gonna see and understand better and better, man. Let's go to Romans 8, and we're going to pick it up at verse 24. Let's go to Romans 8 and verse 24. We just want you to understand what your mind is, first of all, people. And we're going to show you that we all have to clean out this mind or this filthy right. mind of ours, and we got to find out how do we clean it out. But though. Jeremiah, someone, someone out there might say, brother, you sound like you're judging. I'm not judging. We're just going to read the book. That's what David, you guys, David said we got to clean ourselves. He said, purge me with hyssop, that I may be clean. Watch me, I may be, may be white in this no, praise the Lord. Give me a pure heart, right? Uh, hey, what, what is he talking about? Clean pure this heart. up. Clean that, clean that mind up. Clean that filthy That's mind right. up of ours, people. It's That's filthy. Right. And we're going to show you how you clean it. Romans 8, and let's pick right. it up in verse 24. Romans 8 and 24. Go ahead and read. For we are saved by hope. Wait a minute. You need to find one thing. He ain't say you saved. He said you saved by hope. What do the word hope mean? Man. You looking for forward to getting something in the future. Got gotcha. you. That's gotcha. what hope is. Got gotcha. you. Go ahead right. and read. But hope, <laughs> pardon me, but hope that is seen is not hope. Wait, if you already got it, you see it. I got it. I can feel it. I got this thing. Where's your hope? Go ahead and read. For what a man seeth, why do he get hope for? If I already got, if I, if I get paid on Friday, and it is Friday and I didn't got paid, what am I hoping for to get paid for? That's right. And what if I'm saved already, Jeremiah? Yeah, where's I don't have to put my work in, right? Yeah, I ain't got to put no work in. I already <laughs> had that one. But go ahead. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with, we with patience wait for it. Go ahead. Right. Likewise, the Spirit also helping our infirmity. We got to find out what is this Spirit that's going to help my infirmity. Go ahead. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself making intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Who is that Spirit that's Man. making intercessions for us? Come on, Jesus. Who is the one that making the intercessions for us? It's Jesus. Jesus. He, right. he the one that when you pray, he going to turn around. And if that prayer ain't right, he going to clean it up for you. Go ahead and read. 27. And he that searches the heart. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh oh. You and got somebody searching that heart, huh? Yeah. And you made somebody running around here searching that heart, people. That's why you need a clean up. Yeah. That's why you need a clean up. You got somebody searching your heart. Read that verse again. And he that searches the heart knoweth what is the mind of the spirit. Wait, you got somebody who's searching your heart. Yeah. Know what's in your mind. Yes, sir. But he's searching your heart to find out what's in your mind. Go ahead and read. Because he make an intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Because he the one that's making intercessions yes, for sir. But you know what, since we know what the heart is now. Right. And we know that the heart is wicked. We need to go sometime before the flood, y'all. Let's go sometime before the flood, and let's see how man was before the flood, okay? Man. Let's go to uh, Genesis 6. Let's go to Genesis 6, and we're going to pick it up at verse uh, 1. Let's go sometime before the flood, and let's look at this man then. Let's look at this man. This is sometime before the flood. In the Six, beginning, Jim. In the beginning. Ain't that's what the word Genesis means? Yeah. That's right. The yeah. beginning. Yes, sir. In the beginning. Yes, sir. Go ahead. 
with uh, Genesis 6? Six? 6 and 1. Go and, ahead and read. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth uh -huh. and daughters were born unto them, uh -huh. that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Go ahead. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. He said, in my spirit, my mindset that I have, right? it ain't going to always be set with man. Go ahead and read. For that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be 120 years. He say his days go be 120 years. Let's see why. He knocking the uh, span, lifespan of man down here. Let's see why. Let's drop down to verse 5 and let's see why. Go ahead. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Wait a minute. He said God saw. I got to knock y'all lifespan down because I'm looking at you, man, yeah. and the wickedness that y'all doing is great in the earth. Go ahead and read. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only it was only evil continually. And people, we about right there, right now, people. We about right there, right now. We about right there, right now. Man, all man think about now is doing some wicked. Is doing some wicked. And let's see what the Lord gonna do. Let's see, no, let's see how the Lord feel about this man. Read verse five again, go ahead. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. It continually, he said. That's all man prying during some evil. You see what Adam then did to us people. <laughs> Go ahead and read. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. That's really bad. The thoughts of your heart is only evil continually. Now the Lord say, it, it repented me that I didn't make this man. I didn't make you to be like this. To have his thought process. <laughs> and it grieved him at his heart. Now the Lord has grieved at his mind that he didn't made this man. Now you know what he did? Because the man's imagination is only wicked continually, and this is sometime before the flood. Right. What did the Lord do, Jew? He flooded the earth, y'all. That's right. He flooded right. the earth because this man. <laughs> Let's go to Genesis 8 and 20. Let's go sometime after the flood. As man got in trouble there, and the Lord flooded the earth because man hard said it's only evil continually, and we right back there right now. And if the Lord destroyed the earth then, right? gonna what destroy you think he going to do? Now, we in trouble. The book said we have we waxed worse than our fathers. That's right. Oh, we in trouble. <laughs> we in trouble, y'all. We in trouble. 8 and, eight and, uh, eight and 20. 8 and 20. Now, this is sometime after the flood. Now, go ahead and read. And Noah built an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast. Wait, what beast? The clean beast. But don't tell me you talking about clean beasts uh, in the days of Noah. Yes, yes sir. What yeah. you talking clean beasts for? So if you got clean beasts, you must got unclean beasts That's too. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. And we need to take a look at which one of the beasts that he's going to sacrifice on the altar to the Lord. And let's see how the Lord feel about that. Go ahead. And Again, read. Noah built an ark altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. He didn't bring, he didn't bring to burn no unclean beast on the altar. Absolutely not. not. Only clean not beast all. here. And you ain't even got to die to every law. No, let me take that back. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You do have to die yeah, to do. every law right, right here. Right, I'm sorry, you do have to die to every law right here. In Jesus' name, brother. Go ahead and read. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor. Wait a minute, because the clean beast? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Lord said he smelled the sweet savior because you offer clean beasts on the altar. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. And the Lord said in his heart. He said in his what? In his heart. Up there in the mindset. Go ahead. I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. He said, I ain't going to curse the ground anymore for man's sake. That's what the Lord said in his heart, yeah. guy. Go ahead and read. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. Because the Lord said, this man thought process is just he is evil from his what? Evil from his you. You've been wondering why your children so bad. Oh, Jerry. 
scary. Sometimes we need to look at our children. That's we right. need to understand what happened to our children. Who did this to us? He said his foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Hey, that's that's that good. rod of correction. It'll drive it out. Drive it out. Let's that's go. Right. Let's go to Jeremiah 17. That's right. Let's go to Jeremiah 17. <laughs> and we we gonna out. keep this going, people, because we gotta understand. We gotta we gotta wash this mindset out. Oh, that's right. That's definitely right. Jeremiah right. 17, Just and we're going to pick it up in verse 9. Go ahead. What about some of the evil things that I've done, Jerry? Oh, Lord. Can I be what, forgiven? Yes, you can. That's what the baptism is for, That's people. right. That's why you repent, change, have a change of heart. That's, That's all right. you have to do. Have a change of heart. Start keeping these laws and these statutes and these ordinances and become a new, he said, you can become a new creature in Christ. Yes, how do you right. become a new creature? That thought oh, process, that's that's people. Right, that's how you become that new creature in Christ. You ain't thought, oh, I didn't got baptized, no, I'm saved, I'm a new creature. <laughs> no, it don't work like that. <laughs> Peer pressure. It don't, well, you got to have a change of heart. That's what repent means. That's change right. your mind. Teach you. Let's go. Let's go to Jeremiah 17. We're going to pick it up at verse 9. Jeremiah 17. Let's see how this heart is. My heart like this too. 17 and 9. Go ahead and read. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Oh, Lord. Who can know it? Oh, Lord, I need to wash y'all. Right in the mind. He said the heart is deceitful. Above all things. And he, desperately wicked, He Jim. said that mindset that, that we have, that, that, that when he ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and he put this d evil mindset on us, man. Yes. It is desperately wicked. We done mess with the wrong one. You done mess with something that you can't control. Shouldn't have never ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We, we can't, can't control that. And when he came to Eve, he came with all the pomp. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is read Ezekiel 28. Right. That's he right. came with the carbon, the dime, yeah. the burl. I mean, he came with all the flames. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't resist. Blame. He, She couldn't resist. Mess my mind set up. Man. And see, we need to know this, people. We need to know that your mindset is messed up. Mm. Mm. Let's see, verse 10. We read verse 10. Go ahead. Man, I, the Lord, search the heart. Oh, no. Don't tell me the Lord is running up in my mind and searching it. The Lord then ran up in everybody's mind, and he's searching that mindset of Sister, yours. brother, you got to replace that, you know, that Santa Claus thing? Uh-oh. Where he knows... Well, you naughty and nice. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm going to read it again. Uh-oh. I, the Lord, search the heart. Uh-oh, it's the Lord that's searching your heart. Go ahead. I try to reign. He tried the reigns. Go ahead. Even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. But now what we need to do now, yeah. if the Lord is searching my mind, yeah. And he's searching the reins. I need to have a different mindset there. That's now, right. let's see how we need to clean, clean up this dirty mind. Ain't no sense of telling you that your mind is dirty. And then don't tell you how to clean Come it on, up. Come let's on, Jerry. Let's go to Psalms 119. Come on, Jerry. Let's go to Psalms 119. Let's, go to Psalms 119. let's start finding out how to clean up this dirty mind of ours. Because believe me, it is dirty. <laughs> But I'm holy, Jerry. What if I feel like? What if I feel like I'm holy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You holy, I. Right. <laughs> but it's a certain way that you have to walk to be holy. I got he it. told he told Abraham, "Walk before me and be thou holy." holy. He just telling Abraham, "Walk before me upright and sincere." And he said, if you walk me yeah. upright and That's sincere, right. you are walking in the degree of holiness. If you right. keeping that dietary law, you walking Ooh. in the degree, degree of holiness Ooh. because he say, uh, uh, be ye holy, for I am holy when he gave you that dead Terry law. If you keep in that Sabbath day, you are walking in the, de 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 in the degree of holiness. If you, oh, you're walking in the degree of holiness. See, but right. the average person, you know what we done messed up? We don't know how to walk holy. That's right. And if you don't know how to walk holy, that's your invitation here. Just keep watching the bomb of Gilead because we are the bomb. <laughs> Praise the Lord, brother. Psalms 119, and let's pick it up at verse 9. 
119. And we gonna pick it up in verse 9, cause now we need to find out how we gonna clean up this dirty mindset. Verse 9, go ahead and read. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? He said, how should I cleanse my way? Lord, I need to find out how to clean my way. Go ahead and read. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Let that word soak in that dirty mm. mindset. That's the only way you Is can clean simple? it up. It's simple. And let the Lord put his word in there, walk in his word, and that's how you're going to clean up that mindset. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to what? According to thy word, bro. Yo, go ahead, keep reading. With my whole heart have I sought thee. And when he and when he clean you up now, yeah. he done clean that dirty mind up. Now you can search for the Lord with your whole heart. Mm. That's right. That's right. Now you can do it with your whole heart. Go ahead and read. Oh, he, oh Jerry. <laughs> Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Now you got the law in your mind. Now you ask that, Lord, don't let me wander from your commandments. Man. Now, because you're cleaning me up. Adam hurt me when he ate from the, when they ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When he listened to his wife, y'all hurt me. So now, Lord, I need you. And don't let me wander away from your Jerry, commandments. Jerry, sometimes I, I, I get myself, I'm talking about me. Sometimes I get them thoughts in my head and I said, Lord, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. That's Renew right. in me a right spirit. That's Forgive right. me. Got to rebuke them thoughts. Yes, sir, you do. Got to rebuke them yes, thoughts. Yes, sir. And, and, and believe me, it's in all us That's people. Right. I don't care who you are. That's right. I don't care who you are. Man. I don't care who you are or that thought process you can't get away <laughs> from. You can't get away from that evil because it's in your heart. Mm -hmm. It's in that mindset. That's what you got to rebuke. We don't know what, what we got. I'm trying to rebuke that brother or that sister over there. No, that ain't your problem. This is your problem. Come on, Jeremiah. all the time, brother Jeremiah. Come on, Jeremiah. They spend problem. so much time rebuking the devil, they need to rebuke themselves. <laughs> you, you rebuke them. <laughs> <laughs> I rebuke, hey, I stand in the mirror and rebuke myself. That's sometimes you, you need to do that. In the yeah. name of Jesus. Thank you, brother. Man. That's where we at. We at verse 11. Go ahead, verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Lord, let me have, have your right. word in my mind because I need a wash up here. That's right. Lord, let me, let me, let me uh, have that word in my heart. Go ahead. That I might not sin against thee. And don't let me sin against Ooh. you, Lord, because I know it's evil there. And I know I need my brain washed out. Mm -hmm. Don't let me sin against you, Lord. <laughs> Let's go to St. John 15. Praise the Lord God of Israel. We just Man. trying to find out how we wash up this dirty mind. Because I'm telling you, all our mindset is dirty, y'all. We needed this lesson. Man. Matthew's 15. I mean, uh, St. John uh, uh, 15. Right. And we're going to read one verse. We're going to read verse 3. 15. And we're going to read now. Let's pick it up at verse 3. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and I and I got to say this, y'all. Come on, man. Thank you guys for inviting me on the Bomb McGill again. It's, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, fellas. It's a blessing. I was wondering when I was going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Sisters and brothers, it's serious business, but it is fun to yes, serve sir. the Lord and be among brothers yes, and sir. sisters in the faith. Man, we got to, we got, we might well enjoy ourselves before the time comes, sisters and brothers. So we, we love you too, brother. Thank we God in you. Jesus' Team name. I'm glad. You. I'm glad to be here among, among, among my brothers name, and brother. sisters. And uh, it, I, I'm, I'm looking at the, the hearts, brother. Look like you waiting on part 15. Man. Man, they love it. all them hearts jumping for. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> they love it. Lord, man, have praise the Lord Jesus, man. St. John 15, let's pick it up at verse 3. Let's see how we go wash out this mind of ours. 3 and 3, uh, I'm sorry, 15 and 3. St. John 15 and 3, everybody. Go ahead and read. Now you are clean through the word. Wait a minute. He said you clean through what? Through the, the word. word. And you, if I get the word in me and they clean me up, yes. that's what's going to stop me from sinning against the Lord. Absolutely. Then, ain't it? Absolutely. He said you are clean through the words. Go ahead. Which I have spoken unto you. That's how I'm going to clean you up. I'm going to clean you up through the word of God that yes. I've been speaking to you. Yes. That's how I'm going to clean up this mess. Yes. We just want to read that one verse. Oh, and man. Then, oh, man, I want more. 
You go get Mo there. Let's go to Hebrews the 10th chapter then. Oh, man. Let's go to Hebrews 10. Yeah. Lord, Jeremiah, evermore, feed me with this word. Hey, that's, that's right. what we do here on the bomb. That's right. Oh, my Lord. Uh, shoot of the Israel of God. That's what we do, people. Man. Bible speaks. Man. Yes, sir. Let's go to St. John 10. Yeah. And we're going to pick it up at verse 19. Come on in, my St. John 10. <laughs> and we're going to pick it up. At verse 19, because now after the Lord then cleaned up your heart, well, you got 10. that Hebrews 10. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 10 and 19. Now the Lord then cleaned up your heart. You got the word in your mind. Let's see what you got to do now. Let's pick it up at verse 19. Go ahead and read. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Go ahead. By a new and living way which he has consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. Go ahead. And having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with the true heart and full assurance of faith. And now you got to come before the Lord with what? Faith, you get the You got the word in your heart. Now he cleans you up. Right. Now you got to come before the Lord with a true heart. Yes. Now. Let's read that verse again. What verse is that? That's the verse 22. Go ahead. Let us draw near with the true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts bring up from an evil conscience. Get that evil mindset off you people. Because yes. the Lord that put his word in there. Yes. Now he done cleaned you up. Right? Yes. He done cleaned you up. Yes. So he say, now he want to sprinkle your heart. He said, and, and let us draw near with a tr true heart right. and full assurance of faith, yes. having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. Yes. Go ahead. And our bodies washed with pure water. Had that conscience watch with, you got to watch this mindset. Praise the Lord. You got to get that evil conscience off you people. And the only way we going to be able yes. to do that, yes. you got to repent. That's what repent means. Yes. Repent means to turn around, people. Change your mindset. Change your mindset from doing evil and? to turn around and do good. Yes, sir. That's what you got to do. That's right. And you are listening, sisters and brothers, to another episode of the Bomb Gilead. Tonight, our guest teacher, Brother Jeremiah, is bringing the heart of man, That's the right. mind of man, sisters and brothers. Yes, yes, Praise sir. Praise the Lord, brother. Yes, sir. And you know, a lot of people think that the Lord is going to change our mindset when we go to the land. Well, I'm here to let you know, I prefer the Lord to do that now before I get to the please, land. Please, please, Lord. Fix me while while I'm right alive, now. while I right can now. change. Put the put that put that law right here for me, because that's what you've been trying to do all the time, all Lord, the time. and that's I right. know it. Let's go to Ezekiel 36. I know some of my brothers say this is what's gonna happen when we get in the land, and that's the truth. But it can happen for you right now. Ezekiel 36, and we gonna pick it up at verse 24. Because you got to make it to the land. Hey, if you make it, and That's see right. what a lot of people think, <laughs> right. a lot of my brothers think that they going to go straight to the land. That's right. No, you're going into the wilderness first. That's right, bro. He ain't taking nothing in the land that ain't, that clean. ain't, that ain't, that ain't clean. clean. You got to have fixed that man right now so you can make it there. Man. That's right. That's what you better Teach, do right brother. now. Teach. Verse 24. Ezekiel 36 and 24. Go ahead and read. For I will take you from among the heathen. That's when he gathers us from among the heathen. Go ahead. And gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. That's when the Lord bring us into our own land. On, Go man. ahead. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. Hey, now I'm going to sprinkle some clean water on That's you. Right. This is as the nation as a whole. Teach me. Now he can do that for you as an individual right now. Come on, right. come on. Go ahead and read. And you shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. And you can be clean right now from all them filthy idols. Right now. You don't have to wait till this time. Okay. All you got to do is serve the true and living God whose name is Jesus. Jesus. And this tongue I speak. Yes, sir. That's right. So now if we serve and we keep them laws, hey, he can sprinkle that clean water on you right now. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. Go ahead and read. 26. A new heart also will I give you. Uh oh his word is in your mind, ain't it? So now you got a new thought process. You a new creature in Christ yes. now. 
Go ahead. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Oh, go ahead. And I will put my spirit within you. What spirit is that he trying to put within you? And where is he putting the spirit at? In your mind. mind. The word of God in your mind. God, That's what he's talking about, people. He said he's going to put his spirit within you. Right where? He's going to put that word right here. Now you can stop walking in them laws and in them stacks. Yeah, Come on, Jerry. Truth, right? Hey, Come on, right. go that's ahead. Right. And cause you to walk in my statue. Oh, well, wait a minute. Now he going to cause you to walk in the statue. That's when he pulled that clean water on you, though. He got to pull the clean water on you right now yes. for you to walk in the statues, too. That's right. But go ahead. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. Now you going to be able to. You didn't do them before. Now, when he pulled the clean, whenever he pulled that clean water on you, you can keep them statues, and now you can do them. Praise the Lord God of Israel. But he got to clean his mind. Now That's he right. got to sprinkle that clean water on you, which is his, is his word. Yes. And he can do that right now. People. Yes. That's why this is when we go as a nation. And back uh, uh, into the land. Yeah. I want them to do me like that right now. I don't yeah, want to wait until till I, I get back to the land. See, but between now and the land, right. I done did a whole lot of abominations. My mind's so filthy, I may not get to the land. That is right. That's right. That's get, right. Get yourself cut off before. Man. Woo. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be oh, your God. God. Yeah, but first of all, he got to <clears throat> pull that clean water on you before he could be your. You could be his people, and he could be your God. Now. He then sprinkled that clean water on you. You got a whole different mindset Come now. On, now you could be his people. Now he could be your God. But first, he got to clean his mindset up. I don't care how you look at it. You still got to get this cleaned up. Let's keep going. Let's go to Jeremiah 31. Let's go to Jeremiah 31. See, I know the Lord can do this right now. Yes, sir. And this is talking about the new covenant. Yes. And the new covenant came into force after Jesus died. That's when the Lord brought in the new covenant. Yes, sir. So I, let me look at this new covenant, how the Lord is trying to do this thing for me under the new covenant. That's Sisters right. and brothers, the Bible is not hard. It's not hard to be understood. It is not hard to learn. You have to be properly taught. And because the Israel of God, we teach by subject and title. Now you're not all over the place wondering here and wondering there. You get your subject matter and you go everywhere in the Bible pertaining to that subject matter. And then it's easy to be, un to be understood because the Lord is not a God of confusion. That's right. I had to say that, Jerry. Hey, I had to say that. Thank God in Jesus' name. We need to hear it. <laughs> it's not hard. Hey, it ain't hard at all. That's why the Lord said, don't be beguiled. Of the simplicity simple. that is in Christ. Christ it is so right. simple. Mm -hmm. It's no, let me say it right. It's simple for those who understand. Praise the Lord. Everybody don't understand. Thank you for, thank you for that revelation, brother. Everybody don't understand this. So it, this is Everybody not, not trying to understand. I know, man. I know. I know. You can't tell me you read That's something right. in the book and you see the right. Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week, and you let a man tell you no. That's right. That's the right. God, he don't deal with that Sabbath no more. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Jeremiah 31. Yeah. And we're going to pick it up at verse 31. Jeremiah 31, 31. Let's see how the Lord tried to do this thing under the new covenant. Yes. Go ahead and read. Be and I know some of my brothers think that this only going to happen when we get in the land. But as an individual again, yes. he could do this for you right now. Praise the Lord. 31, 31. Go ahead and read. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Are he making the new covenant with who? The house, the of, Israel. house of Israel and the house of Judah. Yes. Go ahead. Right. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was a husband unto them, said the Lord. They broke the covenant. Go ahead. Let's see what he going to do. Because you had the covenant. It was rolled on stones. Right. Tables of stones. Right. All on front. It's all on the front of your door. Right. And I hate to say this, 
even with the fringes, people. Yes, sir. That was just a reminder to keep the commandments. To keep the commandments. Go ahead, but I prefer doing it this way. Go ahead and read. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write them in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. Wait a minute. If he supposed to sprinkle that clean water on you, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Now he could be your God and you could be his people. But them laws got to be where people? In, in your heart. In, in that mind. mind. That's it right. got to be up In here. that mind. That's right. Got, you got to clean this up right here. Them laws got to be up in this mind. Yes, the Lord is going to do this when we get home, but as an individual, right. we can do this right now, because the Lord, I'm going to show you, even under the old covenant, the Lord was trying to put them laws in your heart and in your That's mind. It. Come on, Jerry. And you didn't want them to put them in your heart and in your mind. So you know what he did? I'm going to give you a, 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 a plan B. You can wear fringes to Man. remind you to do it. Because you don't want them there anyway. You're supposed to love I'm trying to put them in your, life, in your heart and in your mind. You don't want them there. That's so right. now I got to give you the plan B action. That's right. What's the plan B action? The hey, you can wear the fringes. That's Just right. to remind you to keep the law. That's right. Go ahead. What we at? We're at uh, verse 34. Go ahead. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, Know the Lord. But they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said the Lord. For That's good. That's good. Let's go to Hebrews 8 chapter. In Hebrews 8. And let's pick it up at verse 8. This is that new covenant that he tried to put them laws in your inward part. Mm. And I'm going to show you even under the old covenant, he was trying to put them laws in your inward yeah. part. It's yeah. always been the Lord trying to put his laws in your heart, people. But we refuse. We refuse to let the Lord do it. Eight and eight. Go ahead and read. For finding fault with them. It wasn't nothing wrong with the with the commandments. Never. It was fault with them. Go ahead. He said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Let's but see what we he just read this. You know, the Bible is one, man. This book is one. This book is one. It ain't no say that, that that's the old testament, this is the new testament. One no. mind. One mind. One heart. Yeah. One heart. That's all these brothers got. One mind. Go ahead and read. Verse 9. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Go ahead. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their in their mind. <laughs> wow. And write them in their heart. He's trying to clean up this heart at all costs. Everywhere you go, he's trying to clean up this dirty mind. Because the Lord know that That's you didn't right. know evil until right. you ate from the tree of the knowledge oh of my God. You didn't know evil, but now you know evil. I got to clean up something. Now I got to be the clean up. Can, can I read that again? Yes, sir. Verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Let's go to Psalms 37. Let's see if he was been trying to do that all the time. All the time. Let's right. go. He's been trying to do it all the time. We just didn't want him to do it. Psalms 37, and let's pick it up at verse 29. Let's see if the Lord been trying to put them laws in your inward part all the time. 29, 30, 37 and 29 Psalms. Go ahead and read. The righteous shall inherit the land. If you're righteous, you're the ones that's going to inherit the land. Right. Go ahead. And dwell therein forever. Go ahead. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom. Go ahead. And his tongue talketh of judgment. Go ahead. The law of his God is in his heart. Wait a minute Ooh. now. The law of his God is well. In his heart. This is the old covenant, people, that he's trying to put them laws in your heart. See, that's what we don't understand. The Lord has been trying to put these laws in your heart all the time, but we refuse from, to let from, them from the beginning. From the beginning. That's why he told you not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He trying to put it right there. Right there all the time. 
Read that verse uh, 31 again. The Go law ahead. of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. If the law of your God is in your heart, he said none of your steps going to do what? Slide. Let's keep right. going. Let's go to Psalms 40 since we're here. Praise Psalms the Lord. Psalms 40, we go going to read verse 8. Psalms 40, and we're going to read verse 8. Uh, let's read verse 6. Okay. The verse 6, and we're going to come down. Because he ain't never like sacrifices. Go ahead. Sacrifice and offering thou did not design. He ain't never designed animal sacrifice. Go ahead. My ears have thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering has thou not required. He ain't never required no animal sacrifice. Go ahead. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yeah, thy law is within my heart. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's steady under the old over, covenant. Over, you had to put over. that law in your heart. Because he know you need a hard wash up. Ooh. Though the Lord been trying all the time, people, even under the old covenant, trying to put them laws in your heart. You didn't want them to put them in your heart so you know what the Lord did? I got to give you the plan B action. You could wear some fringes to remind you to keep the law because you don't have them in your heart. That's right. That's right. That's right, brother. Man, that's sad. And as people who wear fringes right now, they still don't trust in their heart. They still don't trust that they know that law. Well, you know, they say that they keep the law. I believe my brothers keep the law. But see, I just don't I think that my uh, brothers understand why you wear the fringes. It's just to remind you to keep just the law. Just a reminder. Right. It's just a reminder to keep the law. But well, now, which one do you prefer having? Do you prefer having the fringes to remind you to keep the law? Or do you want the right law here, up brother. here in the heart? Right here. I my prefer man. them laws being up here because if right. I leave my fringes at home and I'm with old girl, wait, wait, I ain't wait, gonna take it now. One wait, law. Wait, wait, PG, we gonna keep it PG. <laughs> we, we gonna keep it PG. Yes, brother. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> agree. I'm okay. sorry, I may be in trouble. <laughs> Let's go to Proverbs hey, 23. Hey, imagination of his heart was what? Yeah, I am wicked to continually. <laughs> It hit me, people. <laughs> Proverbs 23, y'all. Oh, Hopefully oh that don't get back. Hopefully I don't like to say it's praise the Lord, brother. <laughs> praise the Lord. Jesus. I ain't mean it like it sounded. I know what you mean, brother. We having fun. Hey, that's all. That's all. <laughs> hey, you know, if forgot your fringes, you don't know what you're going to do. That's right. I hate to say it like that, and I ain't trying to... Throw nobody under the bus. Yeah. What we going, Jerry, man? Proverbs 23, That's and let's right. pick it up in verse 7. Boy, I tell you, I love this. I love this word. 23 and 7, because whatever you think you are, that's what you are. 23 and 7. Go ahead and read. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. The Lord say, whatever you think you are in your heart, that's, that's what you are. are. Go right. ahead. Eat and drink, said he to thee, but his heart is not. His heart is not with thee. Hey, the Lord's heart ain't with you, man. Do whatever you want. And his heart ain't with you. Let's go one other place man. and make sure we understand what the heart is, people. Let's go married. to Luke 6 and let's pick it up at verse 40. Oh, oh man, bro. Right, Dang, what you say? Let's just make sure we understand. Mm. This is the bottom line to what your heart is, and this is what you got to get washed out. That's right. Six, and we're going to pick it up at verse 45. This is what your heart is. <laughs> oh, but what 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 wisdom, not mm -hmm. understanding. The Lord right. said in the last days he's gonna pour it out, didn't he? That's right. He said he's gonna pour out his spirit on all flesh. Yes, your right. sons and your daughters right. go prophesy, go yes. dream, dream dreams. That's right. Dream. So uh hey, here we are. We them children, people. 45, let's make sure we understand what the heart is. Go ahead. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringing forth that which is good. Let me tell you, a good man out of the good treasures of his heart, if he teach you right, he going to bring forth that which is good. Go ahead. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringing forth that which is evil. And an evil man out of the evil treasures of his heart He's bringing forth that which is mm. evil. Go ahead. For our, for of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. And of the abundance of this right here, that's right. It's gonna come out of this right there. Yeah, that's right. Hey guys, let me tell y'all one more time. It's been a pleasure to be on the bomb of Gilead, and people, I hope y'all understood the lesson. 
Man, let's give Brother Jeremiah two of our a round of applause for a wonderful lesson. Man, man it, I, was, it was an come awesome on, Will. lesson. Come on, Will. Awesome lesson, Brother Jeremiah. And you know what? I just, I have to tell you guys, sister and brother, I watched Brother Jeremiah. Brother Jeremiah taught me in children class. And it's just an honor just to be I'm not going to tell his age, but it's an honor just to be able to sit. They can look and tell my age, just look at him. Them. It's an honor just to be able to sit next to him and teach with him, you know, sisters and brothers. It's, it's an honor to grow up in his word, and I don't take it lightly at all. Like uh, Proverbs 3, which I thought we was going to read today, and it said, My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. Yes. You got to love, you got to love this law. You got to keep it with all your heart. When you break the law, it's like breaking your heart, sisters and brothers. Man. It's like breaking your heart. And, and I know God's that. Heart. It's, like, it's like breaking God's heart, too. Yeah. But sisters and brothers, we thank you guys for coming out with us and hanging out with us today on Thursday. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're right, right here on the Bomb of Gilead. Yes. Every Thursday at 730. But also, sisters and brothers, we encourage you guys to tune in and come in. Yes. To the Israel of God at 520 West 138th Street yes. on Wednesday night for question and answer so you can get more word. Friday night for that prayer. Prayer and anointing, sisters yes, and brothers. Yes. This is how you get that evil heart up off you. Yes. Evil mind. You got to get anointed sometimes. James, the fifth chapter. Sisters and brothers, yes. if you sick or afflicted, come get anointed. Yes. And also, sisters and brothers, get that fresh, that fresh bread on Saturday Man. at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, sisters and brothers, here at the Israel of God. Any location, you can go to Israel of God.